administration. Yesterday, it was the slugging of of commercial operations of the Abuja Light Rail. The Executive Secretary FCDA in district. And, this, and the plan in the series mm -hmm. of engineering. Well, it is another day of great achievement, demonstrating a very good leadership trait and the build and development of teams. Project and results are not just realized. It comes with thinking and doing. I've listened to you. I want to say congratulations. In many ways, You demonstrated honesty, integrity, and the capacity to build a team. I am very proud and happy today listening to you, as I've listened before now. As we inaugurate this, engineering infrastructure in Wuse district of Federal Capital Territory. It's just another one in the series of commitments you made to the people and the government that you will definitely make a difference. And you are making it including waves. Thanks to your team, all of you have worked together to deliver a good example to the people of Nigeria. And yes, Honorable Minister, if they say you drag me from sleep, most, most of the time, this is for results. Who say as a vibrant community within the nation's capital and the aborting areas we the beneficiary of this engineering infrastructure. Your resilience, patience, and unwavering support have been instrumental in making this moment possible. And for that, to all of you in FCT, please accept my heartfelt gratitude. We celebrate not just the infrastructure, but also the empowerment of the Wuse and Wuye community and the fulfillment of promises made so several years back. But you always say, and the experts acknowledge the fact, government they continue. The best way to achieve greatness is to look forward, aspire for great results, and not look at obstacles. See opportunity from the obstacles and graphic.
we are investing in essential services such as water supply, electricity, and road network. We are laying the groundwork for economic growth and prosperity, social progress, and improvement in the quality of life for all residents of Abuja Capital Territory. With the completion of this project, we will witness a fast improvement in traffic flow within the district and the adjoining district. I extend once again my heartfelt appreciation to FCT Minister Barrister Iyoshi for making this a realizable dream for all of us and for the country as a whole. The completion of this facility brings security of life close to our people, making the people central focus of our development. And that is the way democracy should work. our determination to succeed and extend happiness to teaming populations, bring about prosperity and value of immense proportion to our people is the goal of the government. And thank you for making a dream realizable. It is my great honor and singular preference to declare this project inaugurated. Once again, I commend the entire team of FCT. Whatever anybody may say, it should be that Nigeria we definitely make progress. And the prosperity, the hope, the achievement is in our hands. We will build a nation where no one is excluded. Thank you very much. God bless you. Mr. President, on behalf of Federal Capital Territory, I want to say once again, welcome you and to thank you for the attention you have given to FCT. Your Excellency, this is one of the projects I think that the people of FCT will always cherish. When we were inaugurated and we sat down to look at projects that we can complete within time and that has value that can impact positively on the lives of the people. In fact, residents of this district have lost hope. If anybody is very uh, familiar with this terrain, you would know that they will appreciate what you have done. This job was awarded in 2009 2009, 15 years thereabout, at the cost of 34 billion naira. But before you came in, in May 29, it was reversed to 74 billion. So you can imagine 15 years we are struggling to construct just one interchange. 
and I can imagine the hardship the people here obsess. The business activities, of course, will crumble. But to the glory of God and my determination, and that is why you have said that your intention or your mission is to bring back hope that has been lost. So people of this area will always appreciate you and thank you for this interchange. It is not about how many kilometers. No, it's about the importance of the interchange. And I want to sincerely thank you that me and the Honorable Minister of State were happy to be part of this uh, hope uh, mantra that are part that is contributing. And today, Nigerians can see that really, when he says something, it comes to reality. I want to sincerely thank you. Let me also thank the two chairmen of the committees. Sir, I will say that we are very lucky in the FCT. This chairman and the area councils have given us all the necessary support that we require. They have never in any way interfered in whatever we are doing. I have been hearing of stories. Some ministers have complained about chairmen of their committees. My own is different. Ours is different. We work like brothers and sisters. We visit each other. And so we don't have problems when it concerns implementing whatever we want to do. So my two chairmen, I want to sincerely thank you, and the chairman of the area councils and of Larry Matters. I will also thank the DG of the Debt Management Office. She's been so, so supportive, very, very supportive. This is also funded, uh, this is partly funded by Sukuk. And each time that we need uh, funds, she has always stood by us by using the funds. So I want to sincerely thank the DG of the Debt Management uh, Office to the Sukuk Fund. I'm so happy about it. And the other thing I want to say that we we'll appreciate you, could not appreciate you, and that I know. One of the wonders of the project you will commission is the outer south uh, lake. I'm sure anybody who passes that area will know that you have done well for the federal capital uh, territory. And moving us out from the TSA has made it very, very possible. All these projects wouldn't have been possible if you did not pull us out from the TSA. I, tell, I told people that you see governance as business. You must take it as very, very serious. Nobody set up a business and wanted to uh, run that law. So you must be very, very committed. And that is why when I came to you to say, look, we cannot implement most of these projects if we don't pull us out from TSA. And be whom you are, he said, if this is going to make you to do the projects or do what we want to do, to give Nigerians that indeed hope, then go ahead. Today, we're happy. Let me use this uh, local parlance. Those of us who are from local area, they say, monkey the job, monkey the job. Now we are three, near three. FCT is performing, FCT is performing. It's because you are giving us tremendous support. All these who are working, working, working. It's because of your massive support. I know that that could also create a problem for us. The kind of support you are giving us may create a problem for us, but it's a good problem. It's not a bad uh, uh, problem. So we are very, very uh, happy. Because if you don't give all this support, all this will not have happened. And I thank you very much. And I believe I also want to commend the contractors because our agreement is that we collect our money, whether it is rainy season, whether it is dry season, you must do the work. Nothing like it. If you don't want to do the work in rainy season, leave the money with us. During the dry season, we'll pay you. So if we pay you during rainy season, work also during rainy season. I thank you and therefore invite you, Mr. President, to please talk to us and commission this interchange. Thank you very much.